key tactic in getting out our word around the media blockade is sharing. They taught us to share in kindergarten, right? But not like this. You podcasters may need to watch this one on the YouTube video to see how it works. If somebody gets a good idea in their head and they have to share it, then they need our help to do so. Jimmy Dore got a good idea. His idea is how progressives can force a Medicare for All vote now. So if you look in the information section under this video, you'll find the link to Jimmy's video. After you click it, you can go to share. I'm sure you know how to do this, but I want everyone to see it. You can share it on Twitter. Click Twitter. House progressives can force a Medicare for all vote now. Here's how. Click. Similarly, you can hit the share button and then click Facebook. Urgent action required now. That's a good thumbnail. Has all the progressives and Nancy Pelosi. So post to Facebook. This is what I do every morning to promote my own show. This is what the show looks like on Spotify. Episode 526, Revolution or Bust, podcast episode. Glenn Greenwald, leaked CIA documents reveal Obama's usefulness to War Machine. So let's say you want to share that one. Click these three little dots. Share, copy episode link. Then you go to Twitter and paste the link. And it looks like that. If you want to share that same episode on Facebook, go to your Facebook page, click the link, and post. Et voila! Glenn Greenwald, leaked CIA document reveals Obama's usefulness to War Machine, episode 526. So now it's on your Facebook feed. If you want to share the YouTube video, episode 526, click share, click Twitter, tweet. There it is on Twitter. If you want to share it on Facebook, click share, click Facebook, post to Facebook. If a few of you got in the habit of doing that every morning, I think it would really help promote this show and it would help promote other leftists who have good ideas. And now we come to Jimmy's good idea. He noticed that the Democratic House nominated Nancy Pelosi to be speaker again, and she has no competitor. She is uncontested, but they still need to vote her in during the first week of January. If she doesn't get a majority, then she won't be the speaker. So Jimmy figured out that if 15 progressives band together, they can use leverage on Nancy and get her to do most anything they want. If these 15 representatives decide not to vote for her unless she does what they want, then a Republican will become the Speaker of the House. So if you pick the right issue, something that voters really want, for example, like Medicare for All, the political fallout would be worse for Nancy than it would be for the 15 rogues. If, in other words, they're not careerists, then we ought to be able to talk them into this. We need progressive voters to push every one of them. If you voted for them, please ask them, are you fighters or are you careerists? Are you activists for the people or are you posers on Twitter? Is healthcare just a carrot to dangle in front of voters so you can win your next election? Or are you gonna fight for it? Here's your chance. People's lives hang in the balance. So in the show notes for this episode, episode 528, Jimmy Dore's plan to force progressive House members to demand a Medicare for all floor vote, the first thing you need to do is go under the show to the show more part. Click that. If you scroll down, you'll find a list of all of these representatives who need to do what they need to do. They need to show whether they're fighters or careerists. The list includes AOC, Ayanna Presley, Ro Khanna, Mark Pokan, Debbie Dingell, Ilhan Omar, Jesus Chuy Garcia, Cory Bush, Katie Porter, Jamal Bauman, Rashida Tlaib, Karen Bass, Jamie Raskin, Marie Newman, Barbara Lee, and I included Pramila Jayapal because she introduced House Resolution 1384, which is the Medicare for All bill that we should be pushing. So that would be 16 we'd have an extra person. 
In the old days, you would write a nicely worded letter or even send an email, but what you could do now is go to all of these people on Twitter. I've conveniently listed all of their Twitter addresses for you to use. So again, you can hit the share button. You can click on this link and copy it. You can go to Twitter and make a new tweet. You can type in this link and you can send it to, let's send it to Jimmy as well as to a couple of these people. So I put Jimmy at the top of the list. I put Nancy Pelosi second and then Pramila Jayapal. Let's just send it to them. So you copy that, paste that in here. So now you're sending this YouTube episode to three people that you want to convince of something. Let's say in addition to that link, you also want to send them a little message. And I'm not sure if this is short enough for a tweet. Let's see. Progressive House members, we need you to take this pledge. Make sure Nancy Pelosi understands that you will not vote for her as speaker until she promises in public to bring House Resolution 1384 to the floor for a vote. Are you a fighter or are you a careerist? So you copy that from these show notes and it turns out it doesn't quite fit. So I'll just take out the careerist part. Are you a fighter? I'll change that so you can make sure to fit it all in and then just tweet that to them. This is a new fight for 15. This is a fight for 15 house members to hold Nancy Pelosi's feet to the fire. Pretty good idea, Jimmy. You did well. Let's join him.